<laughs> Hello everyone, you're very welcome to another Pro Tips to Football podcast, another combined 11 podcast. This week, our featured match of the week is Tottenham Hotspur taking on the Gooners, taking on Arsenal at uh, North White Lane at Wembley. And uh, yes, yeah, so um, let's remind you of the rules. Uh, we pick our best starting 11 from both squads and we can't have any injured or suspended players. Uh, joining me, our Pro Tips are Dan and Pro Tips are Martin. How are you, lads? Yeah, very well, Paddy. Very well. Hi right there, Dan. Uh, a, little, <laughs> a little bit hypo this morning. Um, didn't really sleep last night, and I'm like... <laughs> do you remember Beavis and Butthead? Uh, do you remember uh, I Am The Great Horn Holyoke? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there's, uh, oh, yeah. uh, isn't there, there's a bar in Katowice. My bang hoyer. <laughs> <laughs> where, where our offices are in Poland, it's called Katowice. There's a pub called R- Rise of Fever. That's, that's, that's the meaning of that. Dan, did you know that? There's, I don't think there's yeah, a word yeah. for it in English, is there? I mean, it's like the excitement of the night before you do something. Mm-hmm. There's no English for it. No, it's yeah. typical German for you. They've, they've got words for everything. They're amazing. Uh, right, lads. Uh, one final thing before we start. Just to keep on getting on media. Dan, where are you? Uh, you can find me um, uh, behind the back of <laughs> Won't go there. You can find me on Twitter, ProTips of Dan, all one word. Facebook, ProTips of Dan, all one word. But I'm generally hanging around on the Facebook group, ProTips of the UK. Yeah, ask me questions, give me abuse. Birmingham City lost last night, so. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Martin? Yeah, guys, come and say hi on Twitter at ProTips at ENG or on Facebook, ProTips to Martin, three separate words. Magic, you can get me ProTips to Pod on Twitter, ProTips to Paddy on facebook and yeah like the lads were saying and um, we're always lurking around our pro tipster uh uk facebook page as well what else is there to remind you before we finally get started yeah this podcast is available as a video on youtube on itunes on our pro tipster blog and uh yeah, on our pro tipster site starting today as well Woo! and of course we're live streaming it but you already know that um right lads let's go this one's going to be very easy isn't it arsenal Versus Tottenham, um, we we have picked extremely similar teams very similar. Right between us. Uh, I don't think we even need to mention goalkeeper, to be honest. Hugo Lloris is the obvious choice, isn't he? There's no case to be made for Petr Cech. Nah, Petr Cech. Oh, is he? Yeah, he won't play. If he does not, um, if he does not restart first team training by Friday, hmm. he won't play with David Ospina. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I know you're definitely not going to pick Ospina over over Hugo Lloris anyway. You know? That might be a good thing for Arsenal because Petr Cech's been terrible recently. Yeah, He's chasing point. that two hundredth clean sheet, isn't he? And it's like seven games without one. Oh. So, uh, this yeah. is like I don't know if you were watching uh, Monday Night Football. Uh, Wayne Rooney was on it with a uh, Carragher. He started it off very well. He said, uh, "This is the closest Carragher Carragher's ever gotten to me." That was, class. <laughs> that was great. But um, the last forty-five minutes, an hour. They were talking a lot about uh, uh, Rooney's career. I nearly said Rooney's career, Jonathan Ross. And uh, he was saying that um, getting that record, the what's his name, Bobby Charlton record. Oh, yeah. uh, get, he said it was a bit of an albatross uh, around his neck for a long time because there was, uh, he said it wasn't really so much that the pressure was on him, but it's just that so many people were talking about it all the time that... Mm. Mm, the pressure was coming from other people. It was it wasn't the pressure on him. I need to score, I need to score, I need to score. It was the pressure of other people just constantly on about it, you know. And I suppose th- this must be the same thing with Czech then as well. It's just the weight of expectation of of this two hundred clean sheet. I mean, okay. it it'll be pretty hard going into a football match thinking, oh god, I hope it's today, you know. How many is he on now? One is it one nine nine? Oh wow, one nine nine. Oh, it would be pain. It'd be like, be like when you're, you know, a teenager on the bus, and you're like, oh my god, maybe she'll smile at me today. Please be today. <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> anyway, we're revealing a little too much about my teenage difficult years. Uh, <laughs> Martin, uh, what's your back four? Sorry, uh, our 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 formation. Our formation. We're going with four, two, three, one. Uh, Spurs go with it a lot. Arsenal less so this season, but it's something that uh, Wenger has used. Uh, probably mostly uh, over the years. Um, okay, so four, two, three, one. Martin, your defence, please. I'll give you my defence. My right back is the one and only Kieran Trippier. 
unbelievable right back that guy um, my centre back pairing are Koscielny and Alderweireld and my left back is Nacho Monreal um, oh go on yeah the, Dan what's yours um, my right my right back is Hector Bellerin just to annoy Martin <laughs> <laughs> centre backs uh, Vertonghen and Alderweireld and left back although he has got flu um, should be fit uh, Nacho Monreal yeah, um, mine is exactly the same as Martin's. And uh, <laughs> what can we say? Look, like we've had Spurs. This is our third Spurs uh, feature. And on viewers, we, we promise, listeners, we promise we won't do them again for at least a month, okay? Um, okay. Uh, and uh, Martin, uh, because you've made such a strong defense of Kieran Trippier on, on all of the previous episodes, I've just gone with him this time. I didn't even look up other ones. I just went, no, nah, I'm going to give this one to Martin. Why not? Uh, Lovely stuff. Yeah, I deliberately yeah. went for Hector Bayerine just because it wasn't Kieran <laughs> Trippier. Just because. Although I, I did like Bayerine. I think um, I, I realised I've been saying his name wrong for a long time. I always call him Bellerin. It's called Bayerine because it's Spanish. Mm. Whatever. Um, he's quick. Um, yeah, he's really quick. And I, I don't know. I think he's, he's he's been a fairly decent right back for them. You know, he kept Debussy outside for a long time. Made the slightly zone. Barcelona was supposed to be after him. Mm. Do I think he's better than Kieran Trippier? I'm not sure, but eh, you could have an argument, haven't you? So <laughs> you gotta have a round of it. <laughs> I think uh, um, I think Bellerin's, Bellerin's got pace, but I'm not I'm not sure what else he brings to Arsenal. To be honest, um, his his delivery into the box is all right, but I don't think he's as good as Kieran Trippier's. Trippier got another assist against United uh, a couple of weeks ago, so that's seven. This season now, uh, what did I write down? Seventeen games, seven assists in seventeen games for Kieran Trippier. I think, um, I think, I think they're both very similar players. Um, I don't think defensively they're amazing, um, but certainly going forward, they're, they're both half decent. And yeah, I think Bellerin is uh, or Bayerin is. Um, I guess he's got I don't know, a bit, a bit distracted by his fashion at the moment. Maybe he's trying to get a career as a model or something. <laughs> Top not alert. <laughs> uh, although it's not really a top knot, is it? It's kind of at the back. What are those called when they're back here? Yeah, no. you know? tail. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to look up really quickly uh, who who is rated better on fantasy football. Uh, Trippier has uh, he's five point two million pounds, eighty points. Mm. Bellerin was higher. Uh, Bellerin. Bellerin is six point one million and ninety seven points. So actually Bellerin <laughs> yeah! however, however, let me stop you there. You have to take into consideration the amount of games played. And Trippier has done a lot more in a short space of time. Come on, Dan. <laughs> Come on. Can't argue with the numbers, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, oh, you know, I had gone with Trippier, but now, after seeing those figures... God, you got to... <laughs> what has, oh. Be- has Bayerine done, apart from possibly keep a few clean sheets? I'm going to get fancy coming to the league now. Um, didn't he set, didn't, was, wasn't he involved in uh, at least one of the goals against Everton? Um, wasn't he involved in the goal against Swansea as well? He, he does... He, 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 I, I grant you, he's he is pace and not much else, but... Yeah. Mm. If he's got 97 fancy league points, he's obviously doing something. He's played... Kieran Trippier's only played 17 games all season. Bellerin's played 90 minutes in every single game. Um, and he's only got a few points more than Kieran Trippier. <sighs> <laughs> That's just the reason, the reason I'm, I'm going to give it, give it to Martin anyway. I'm going to give it Trippier. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he has nicer tattoos. He looks tougher. He looks meaner. And uh, Bellerin just... No. I couldn't have him in your team. You would be able to take him seriously. But the reason I wanted to look up uh, Baron on, on the fantasy football was because mm. his first season, he was just one of those players you had to have have in. And then he kind of dropped off. And obviously now he's, he's very, very good again. I'm going to have to... Oh, who can I lose? Oh, no. I have no midfielders anywhere, or defenders anywhere near that price to get him <laughs> in. My team. Right, but anyway, let's uh, move on then. So we've all gone Jan Vertonghen. No, we haven't. Martin, didn't. Oh, Martin you went with Koscielny. Yeah, I went for Koscielny. I think um, 
I don't know. I've always liked Laurel Koscielny. I think he's I think he's a decent defender. He's getting on a bit now. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a tough one between Vertonghen and, and Koscielny. I think um, Vertonghen's a great defender. Koscielny's a great defender. I think Koscielny scores more at the other end of the pitch. I think he's got a couple of goals. I think two goals in his last three games, actually. Um, but they're both very, very similar, and it's very hard to pick. I think, obviously, both being Belgian, all of our old partners, Vertonghen, a lot better. However, uh, without Koscielny, Arsenal just fall apart. Whereas without Vertonghen, I think, I think Spurs are still all right. See, I, I th- I've always had this... Um thing in my head that Kishan is error prone and I know why this is 27th of February 2011 Don Kishan <laughs> walked into Wojciech Szczesny and we you know and Birmingham City won the trophies and it's just <laughs> in my head <laughs> and, you know, he's disaster prone and I do do I don't rate I, I think it's just because of that I don't really rate him as defender weird how these things work isn't it it is because I have a thing kind of against Koscielny as well because it's a Polish name, Koscielny. The easy is a Polish descent. Yeah, yeah. and Koscielny, it means like church ish church yeah. or something like that. So it's like his name's Larry Church. Larry the Church. Church, <laughs> yeah. Church, church. <laughs> you know, so it's like. Uh, and uh, it's funny that you said he, he brings Arsenal together or without Arsenal, they fall apart. So maybe there's some kind of churchy thing going on there as well, you know, looking for deeper I'm, meaning. I'm no one went for Mustafi. I like Mustafi, but he's made of glass. Yeah, this is true. That, that's the only reason. Yeah, I, like, uh, I, I really like Mustafi, but he's, just, he's made of glass. He's not tough enough. You know? um, I would, just before we make a decision, I would just like to point out that Koscielny's got more fantasy Premier League points for the time <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you know, nice. yeah, I think the Tottenham not played many games this season. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Pro Tipster Football Show. Check out ProTipster.com where you can earn money by sharing your tips and coupons. Sign up now and get our free daily newsletter where our experts share their tips. Go to ProTipster.com for more details. Now, nah, look, we have to go over Tongan looks like a very young, dashing Andre Villas Boas. And when they play, when he played for Villas Boas, it was weird. It was like, what the how? What's going on here? Clones. Right then, I, so. I, 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 think of Andre Villas Boas. I read a great stat. So, Andre Villas Boas, sacked by Chelsea manager when they played West Ham Yeah. Uh, Jose Mourinho, sacked by Chelsea, Chelsea when they played West Bromwich Albion. Who do Chelsea play next? I West don't know that. Bromwich <laughs> Albion. <laughs> bye bye, can't say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really hope he doesn't get fired until after the Man United game because uh, it's him and him and Mourinho on the touchline. I hope they go at it, man. Because if cause if Conte is if it's his last match and he's not nice to lose, then you can you just take the man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It'd be> amazing. <laughs> You know, not, not that I condone violence at all. No, 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 no. We wouldn't like to see that at all, would we? Um, well, let's go with our, so we're back five then with the keeper, Hugo Lloris, Kieran Trippier, Jan Vertonghen, Toby Alder, 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 and Nacho Monreal. Um, yeah, we've all agreed on Monreal, haven't we? Yeah, we've all, we've all gone for Monreal. He's a good old pacey fella. He gets injured a bit too much, but... Arsenal it just happens at Arsenal, doesn't it? Um, right then, uh, Dan, give me your uh, two defensive midfielders, please. Well, as with last week, Eric Dyer and the famed celebrity killer, Aaron Ramsey. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, who have you gone for? Uh, I've gone for Eric Dyer as well, and I've gone for Jack Wilshire, actually. Uh, yeah. so mine as well, not that my opinion really counts for much when I'm with such esteemed experts as pro tipsters. Dan and Martin, but I've gone for Moussa Dembele and Jack Wiltshire. Jack Wiltshire has finally won me around. You'll be happy to hey. hear. Martin. Jack uh, Wiltshire is the definition of made of glass. <laughs> <laughs> but not this season. He's had a great season. Yeah, yeah. He, he did. Oh, he limped off in one game, but he came back. Uh, he only missed one, I think, after that and came back. And Yeah, look, uh, 
for me, the jury was always out on him, but this season he's he's been class. He's um I think sending him out on loan, um, you know, gave him the kick up the butt that he needed and yeah. I think he finally realized he has to man up, you know. Yeah, but maybe maybe other things have like changed in his life, you know, I don't know. But maybe. Um, yeah, but I yeah. think we I think it's rumoured what he got up to off the pitch. So yeah, maybe that has changed. Mm. Stuff. Yeah. Um, but Aaron Ramsey's made a blast too, as well. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> I think he could potentially be the uh, the England midfielder of the World Cup. Actually, Dyron Wilshere. Really? Yeah, I, I don't see why not. I, I'd like to see that. I mean, you got who else? You got Jordan Henderson, Adam Lallana. Did you, mm, <laughs> Adam did you Lallana. see that? Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did. Uh, listeners, I don't know why, I don't know why it's not getting better than the Premier League. Well, I'm going to have to explain what this was. We were talking yeah. about a, an under-23 under uh, match Liverpool were playing. Who were they playing? Tottenham, uh, I think. Oh, okay. And an under-23 match. Adam Lennon has been playing in them recently because Klopp wants him to get a game time, get him back to full fitness. And, uh, yeah, he basically assaulted a uh, under-23-year-old player. He knocked the head off him, <laughs> basically. Pretty much. Uh, he's, will he be banned or what's going to go? What's going to happen? I don't think he's getting banned, which I don't understand because there was a player, I can't remember who, who it was now, there was a player that got banned for getting sent off in the under-21s recently, yet, yet Lalana's not getting punished. I think I don't get it. Strange. And it's one of these tackles that we've seen a lot of recently because the, the Spurs player, uh, they both jumped up for a ball, but the Spurs fella made no attempt to go for the ball. He just kind of he just wanted to nudge Lalana out of the way. And Lalana took quite exception to this and even yeah. lost the rank. I saw a clip on uh, Twitter, actually, of it, the exact same thing happened between Lalana and Yaya Torre a couple of years ago, and he tried to start on Yaya Torre, and he would have absolutely none of it, just shoved him. <laughs> Torre would be like, I could eat you. you know? <laughs> uh, Kieran Dyer, though, lads. I think Kieran Dyer is... Kieran Dyer? Like Kieran Dyer. 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 He's made a glass, Kieran Dyer. I'm mad about Dyer, lads. I don't, I don't see it. Uh, I think he was awful against Liverpool the other day. He, he messed up. He, he created, he assisted Salah's goal. I, pff, am I missing something here? What's, what's, what's so good about him? Um, I think that's an operation. <laughs> he's, generally very good this year. <clears throat> he's generally been very, very good this year, um, Eric Dyer's. But, yeah, an aberration. I, I, I'm interested you picked Moussa Dembele after my... Uh, Impassioned, um, think about him last week. Well, see, this, this, is it, Dan. This, this is the thing about me. I, I listen to the experts and I learn, you know. I take mm. on, you know, because I, I, I'm certainly no expert here. I, I'm, I just host these things. You boys are, are the smart ones, I'm the pretty one, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, and 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 this is part of the reason because you made such a good defense last week, but also, um, I think just defensively, uh. He'd be better than I. I, I like. I, 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 Wilshere has won me around this season. I think. I think he's a really good player now. Uh, Ramsey. I think Ramsey's Ramsey would be Ram, Ramsey's better for Wales than he is for Arsenal yeah. because I think he's too defensively for Arsenal. I think he's better a bit more up the field. So I wanted to have. I wanted to have someone who was a bit more defensive as well. Oh, I forgot Aaron Ramsey was an Arsenal awesome player still until he scored that trick. <laughs> Right. The thing, like, he's the, I, I don't think he's used properly at Arsenal at all, you know. Uh, but look, what do I know? <laughs> uh, right, look, we'll, we'll put, we'll put Kier, or with Kieran Dyer. I keep saying Kieran Dyer. We'll er, 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 I'll, say it, I'll say it again before the end of this. Wait and see. Uh, Eric Dyer will put him in. Uh, he's been outvoted. And uh, right then, lads, fight to the death then. Wilshire or Ramsey? Well, I think I think Real has played the more games this season and he's been the more reliable. If just having a look at Aaron Ramsey's last few games, he played seventy four minutes against Everton, obviously hat trick. He played against Swansea and he, he played sixteen minutes against Bournemouth. Apart from that, he missed one, two, three, four. He's missed the last seven games before that. Um he just hasn't played enough to be considered for me. Mm. But I guess he does he you know, he does make a mark when he does play. Um but Looking at the formation that we're playing, uh, from my perspective, Dyer and Wilshire 
uh, two defensive-minded midfielders, and I think Aaron Ramsey likes to bomb on a little bit more, so could leave a gap in our in our formation. As you probably know, podcasts still grow by word of mouth. Show your support for the Pro Tipster Football Show by telling your football mad friends all about our podcast, or by leaving a nice review for us on iTunes. Dan, defend your boy. Um. I just don't like Jack Wilshire. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't like him. I think he's a bit of a scroat. Um, <laughs> yeah, he has done a lot better this season. Going out on loan has probably sorted him out somewhat, but um, I, it, it, it's a, I just don't like him. Um, and that's why I didn't pick him. And like the choices were Jack Wilshire, um, Granite Xhaka, mm. never going to happen. Um, Musa Dembele, I could have gone for him, but I. Just thought Ramsey deserved it after scoring a hat trick. Um, yeah. No, no celebrities have died yet as well, which is quite surprising. The guy from Fraser died. The old guy, the dad from Fraser, but he wasn't really a celebrity, I suppose, was he? No. Uh, well. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't call him a celebrity. Rihanna is a celebrity. You know, some some guy in. Wasn't Fraser. Rihanna the reason they won five one? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, she made a visit, didn't she? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I didn't even know that. So I connected. Uh, sorry, Dan. I'm going to have to go with uh, Martin here, uh, Dyer, and and Woods here. Um, That's okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, our, 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 front, <laughs> our front four. Then, yeah. How are we going to drag this out? <laughs> uh, Dan, give me your front four, please. Um, so, Mikitarian, Henrik Mikitarian, um, Pierre Emerick, Obama Yang. Um, and Christian Eriksen as the three behind. Drum roll. Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Uh, of course. Yeah, who else? Um, I did, I did think about, um, I did think about Obama Yang. Is he okay behind the front man? But you, you've got to have him in there. And mm. Deli Alley. No. Excellent. I mean, come on. If you're going to have a sex tape, at least have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, this is the Colin Farrell f- problem as well. You know, Colin Farrell, he really wanted his sex tape banned. Not because he was, because he was so bad in it. <laughs> I didn't even realise he had one. It's very short. <laughs> <laughs> what what is that like? Colin Farrell. <laughs> 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 Bit x rated for this hour today, lads. But um, yeah, Mikitarian, Obama Yang, Ericsson, Kane, you've all gone for those. Harry Kane's a, a dirty cheat, though, isn't he? I, I think he got clipped um, for that penalty, but he, uh, he, he, did, he did play for it. Yeah. But that's what you've got to do. You've got to do that in this day and age to get a penalty. So It's Liverpool, who cares? <laughs> that, that is true. <laughs> Hey, they were champions for long enough, so you know they deserve a bit about it. Now, nah, look, come on, that's the game now. Um, uh, I don't like uh, people are losing their heads uh, last night and today on Twitter though over what Pochettino said about diving, um, which uh, I think is a bit much because it's just mm. it's just as part of the game now. We just got to accept it. But I think referees. I, I don't think it's really the players who are the problem here. I think it's the referees. Uh, English refs aren't very good at uh, stopping diving. You know, like like you know, there's a good reason why English refs aren't going to the World Cup this year. It's because they're not good enough. They're the most well played, well paid, and they're the le- they're the least professional. Sorry, refs, these are the worst. You know, Italian, Spanish refs are far better. Even there's there's more Dutch, there's Dutch refs. From the Eredivisie going to the World Cup, and there's no. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think with the I don't know, like in this day and age in the Premier League, I just don't think a lot of players have respect for referees anymore. Um, they're always shouting in their faces. The referees don't seem to control the game like they used to back in the olden days. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's changing. Well, do you know who the ref for this game is? Um, Spurs versus Arsenal. I hope it's not Michael Oliver. Anthony Taylor. Oh yeah, right. And that's not please Wenger because um, do you remember when Chelsea beat uh, Drew two two with Arsenal mm-hmm. and Eden Hazard got that dodgy penalty? Yeah. Who was the ref? Uh, 
And last season, um, Wenger got a uh, fine 20k, got banned from the touchline for three or four games. Who's the fourth ref that you had an argument with in the game? Brilliant. <laughs> Great. Oh, this will be lively then. It's a pity, though, that this match is, is so early on Saturday morning. Um, mm-hmm. I really don't like Saturday morning games. They don't have this good atmosphere. I, 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 I do like them. As, as a football fan, going to games, I love Saturday morning games because you go to the game, it finishes, and you go out on the, on the latch. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and being a Birmingham City fan, you need that alcohol to, you know, cushion the pain. <laughs> games like this is, are always going to be on early. You can't have this as a Saturday night game because everyone will be drunk before people yeah. fight and, and fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's wrong with football fans? They can't just sit together like in in the the, in the the sports in Ireland, the GAA. Everyone just like they just sit, sit beside each other. I mean, you can roar abuse at people and just be like, ah, yeah, 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 and then like, oh, sorry, yeah, hello, uh, forgot you were from there, and everyone's fine. You know, like like we we don't fight because they do the fighting for it. Maybe it's because GAA sports are so much more violent than uh, than, than 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 English football. Ooh. I don't know. In, in, in Birmingham, it's the uh, Second City Derby this weekend, and oof, that can get feisty. I can imagine that so. That can get feisty. You can get feisty, you can get fighty on and off the pitch. Yeah. Um, away fans are only allowed in by coach. Only it's like a mile between the two. Mile, two miles between the two grounds. And you have to go by coach. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Because, um, yeah... Uh, I, I've been to I've been to um, games where there's been flares. Where there's like we, we played them in Premier League back in 2002, Monday night game, mm. and so everyone went to the game like lashed, and um, it inevitably went wrong. Especially as we beat them three nil. Ooh, can't see that um, happening this weekend. Uh, no, me either. Sadly, but but this is the thing. There's this argument like so so they're all Sunday twelve o'clock kickoffs. And people are like, oh, yeah, we hold up. We have them at Sunday, 12 o'clock, because um, uh, the boot, you know, people can't drink. So like, people will, will just get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, suddenly just start drinking. Go to the weather spoons. <laughs> <laughs> well, the pubs in Birmingham won't be open because they're right. not allowed to. But people will just drink anyway. And I found out the only reason they do it on Sundays is because there's just less crime on Sundays so they can have more police at the game. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Um. But uh, I, 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 it's one of the things I like most about football. I, I, obviously, I, I don't condone violence. Violence is wrong. Hmm. But football's tribal. Football, for me, was always the safety. It was always like the safety valve. You know, I get stressed to work, and I go to the football on a Saturday afternoon, and be like, <laughs> and I walk out, <laughs> and all that anger and aggression and toxicity that had been built up for one week at work was just gone. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be a happy person again. And yeah. screaming at players, refs, and people standing, mm, sitting mm, 80 metres away from you is, is quite cathartic. So <laughs> I quite like that. Um, Ooh, that some... me, me and Dan are going to an ice hockey match this weekend. This is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love ice hockey. Um, I, used to, I used to go to watch um, the team in Sully Hall play uh, when they were called Sully Hall MK Kings. And... To say they were bad, <laughs> understatement. Like they'd, se- they'd all celebrate if they scored. <laughs> there was a guaranteed three fights a, a match. I, I, I saw teeth <laughs> flying on the rink. I saw, you know, there's sin bin players for fighting. I saw players sent from the rink for fighting. I heard, please don't go within a metre of the away bench. <laughs> This is brilliant. I hope this happens on Saturday. Right, look here. We better get back to this. Our, we'll confirm our team then. So uh, we're going with uh, Hugo Lloris in goal, Kieran Trippier, uh, Jan Vertonghen, Toby Alderweireld, and Nacho Monreal are our back four. Musa, uh, no. What have I done here wrong? Uh, sorry. Uh, Eric Dyer. Kieran Dyer. Eric Dyer and Jack Wilshire are our uh, two defensive midfielders. And our front forward then are Henrik Mkhitaryan, Pierre, Emmerich Aubameyang, uh, Christian Eriksen, and Harry Kane. Uh, no mess of those at last. No, can't fit him in. Um, I mean, he's, he's, he's decent, but I, no, I just can't fit him in. I think Mkhitaryan, um, for me, is a better player. Um, mm. So, yeah, no room for him. And Eriksen's had an absolute barnstormer of a season, so, yeah, it doesn't squeeze in for my, in my squad. 
unfortunately. All right, let's have a look then at uh, recent form. Uh, Spurs haven't lost. Oh, it's a good point now in the Premier League since they lost. They haven't lost since uh, well, the 16th of uh, December against Man City. They're on a good run. Uh, uh, how do you see this one going, lads? Well, um, you talked about our new betting news um, site, uh, part of the ProTipster website. If you go to ProTipster.com slash betting dash news, you can read a full statistical analysis, early odds about this game right there. I know because I wrote it last night. <laughs> <laughs> so did you pick out and Dan? Um, no, they, they won't let me. They won't well, let me. But, um, but they, they won't let me give tips on it. But um, Arsenal at home, uh, ace, Arsenal away are dreadful. Uh, Spurs mm. haven't lost at home since August in the Premier League uh, when they lost to Chelsea. So Spurs win. Simple as that. I think Arsenal have only won away three times all season. And Anthony Taylor's ref, and Arsenal Wenger hates him. So, yeah. So, um, Spurs win. So, Spurs are about, they're about evens at the moment. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You get, you get good odds, but Spurs win for me. What do you mean, Martin? Cool. Yeah, Sp- no, Spurs win for me. Uh, close. I think both teams to score. Spurs win. Probably better value for me. Um, 2 1, 3 1, something like that. Magic. All right, then. That's sure. That's that's pretty much it then for this episode. I think um, overs is um, really high as well, and I was really shocked by it. Uh, let me just check it there quickly. Uh, come on, website. Come on, website. Come on, come on. Uh, overs, overs, over two hundred. Uh, one point five one. Oh, no, no, wrong, wrong game. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, it was another one. It shot me. Yeah, 1.5 once, too skinny. Wouldn't take it. Yeah. All right, then. So, look, that's it from us, the Pro Tipster boys. Uh, Dan, can you re- remind people of where they can find you on the internet? You can find me at Pro Tipster Dan on, tw- on Twitter. Come say hi. Or on Facebook as Pro Tipster Dan, all one word. Uh, find us in the groups that we've got uh, for Pro Tipster. So, our football tips group, uh, NBA, NHL, MLB, NFL group. Um, come if you got any questions about uh, betting, or you just want to give us some, like you know, some love, some abuse. <laughs> stop by, or both. You know, <laughs> if you're into yeah, I'm, 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 I love a bit of tough love myself. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, where can we find you, buddy? Yeah, guys, you can come and say hi to me on Twitter at Protips to ENG, and on Facebook at Protips to Martin. Three separate words. Exactly like Dan said, you know, come and say hi, abuse us, give some love. Um, we're here to take you. Magic. And uh, you can get me on Twitter, Pro Tipster Pod, on Facebook, Pro Tipster Paddy. I'll, uh, I'll add you as friends there. And, I'll, and if you want to be part of the groups, our, group friend, our groups are all open as well, so you can join them. And uh, we're always available on the Pro Tipster UK Facebook uh, page as well. Um, what else have we got to remind? Dan, do you want to remind people of our new uh, shop pro tips or thing? A new shop? Sorry? What? A new yeah, shop? A new offer on, on the shop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get um, one day's worth of premium for just 5,000 coins. You get 10,000 for signing up. And as Paddy said, wink, wink, wink. Um, but maybe, maybe paste the premium Friday, Saturday. So you get the best pro tips for the weekend. Um, if you uh, if you log into ProTipster and you go to the settings page, you can subscribe to our newsletters, and we'll remind you of all this and give you links. So yeah, do that. Wait for the wait for the link and come join us on Premium. You even get extra tips from us on a Saturday. Yes. Uh, by by email newsletter if you're a Premium subscriber. Magic. All right then, that's good stuff. That's it from us then. We'll be back tomorrow with our podcast where we'll be looking ahead to the best uh, Premier League Championship and European football as well and we'll have our uh, Italian and Spanish experts in too so we're going to have another bumper podcast tomorrow Um, okay then bye bye take it easy thanks for listening everybody don't forget to check out protipster.com where you can earn money by sharing winning football tips check us out on YouTube and Instagram our handles there are protipsterglobal or get in touch on Twitter protipsteren or Pro Tips are IRL. Bye.